Hi friends, it's Lisa back with a process video for Doodlebug design. And this is the first layout that I created for Doodlebug. And I'm really happy to be on the design team. Yay! <laughs> so the collection that we uh, needed to use for this month was the Made with Love collection. And it's a... Um, it's a Valentine's collection, I think, but it's also you can also use it for um, document documenting uh, baking and yeah, like home stuff and uh, kitchen stuff. So yeah, it's very very cute, and um, I thought that I would create a Valentine's layout for February. <laughs> so uh, to start, I put gesso on my page and then I did a bit of mixed media using my um, Lindy's magical powders and mixing mixing them with gesso oh no not gesso uh, with white acrylic paint and some water and I used some blue and some pink but um, <laughs> I always add so much water just to make the, the paint uh, flow everywhere um, and then like I uh, soak up the water again with a paper towel and then at the end you don't really see a lot of color anymore sometimes you see it very well sometimes you don't it's like it depends but here you couldn't really see a lot anymore so I put uh, a deeper pink on there just to have a little bit more pink but also here on the video I uh, like it was um, the lighting plus the filter that I put on like make it so bright that you really can't see a lot of the color anymore but I'm sorry if, if it's too bright sometimes but um, I really don't like to have um, these warm or gray hues on my videos so I want to be I want everything to be very white so yeah um, and then just um, yeah, adding some touches with a dauber, and adding white dots and white splatters. And then while this was drying, I put together my two cut files that I chose. And I chose cut files from Doodlebug. Um, this one is called, I think it's called just Milk Jug or something. And the other ones are cookies. And um, yeah, I'm just um, like assembling the whole thing. And yeah, the, these are so cute. Like the, also the milk, the font um, for milk is like 60s style. And I really, it's so cute. I really love, really love it. And then yeah, I just used my adhesive, uh, my adhesive glue, what? My liquid glue to adhere everything together and just um, cutting out uh, but not too near of the border because I wanted to do some stitching and yeah just um, piercing my little holes and then doing some hand stitching there and then I was done with my cuties and I decided to use this photo because it matches in color and it's my boyfriend and I and we went on a walk it's like it's not a summer layout this was really this was in summer and it was very 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 hot but um, like I needed a photo uh, of the two of us and this matched in color very well so I took this one and then to map my photo, I'm just using some scraps of paper from the 6x6 paper pad. And I, yeah, I'm at my photo like I always do, almost always. <laughs> and then I, I'm just placing everything on my page just to see where I want everything to go. And um, I had a little bit of trouble just... Um, placing everything most of the time I don't but here I was like a little bit I was lost a little bit but it turned out okay and then yeah I'm just going through all of the die cuts 
uh, the die cuts of from Doodlebug are called Odds and Ends, I think. Yeah, and these are uh, like the, the cute little um, icons. And um, yeah, I'm just cho choosing some cookies. And I chose some of the sprinkle bottles that I will not use, but I, I will use cookies. I will use the little milk bottle. I will use the hearts and some other stuff. And yeah, I'm just placing everything down just to see how I want everything to go and how I like it. I'm adhering my photo with foam um, tape and I'm just looking if um, checking if my photo is straight lately like since I think it's been a year or so that I didn't put any photos um, crooked I always put them straight I don't know what happened in my head <laughs> but I don't like the photos like on a, on an angle or something I just want them to be very straight on a page I don't know why just don't ask me I, I like it when the photos are not straight on other people's layouts but I don't want to do that on my pages so I don't know <laughs> um, using foam squares uh, to adhere all of my little uh, cut files and the the foam squares are a little bit uh, more dimensional than than the foam tape so they even stand out more and i'm going through the stickers and yeah all the little pieces that i have just to see what i want to add and then i'm adding the title i'm using the um, sunshine font from doodlebug in different colors but these will not stay. I will. I will. Um, I will. Ch I will change uh, the, the font because the alphas. Because um, they were. I love this font, but they were a little bit too small for this page. I thought. I don't know. So yeah. Uh, and I wrote, "We go together like milk and cookies." because I think that's very cute uh, but uh, the, the thing is like what's what's this, this, this saying it's we go together like cookies and cream and cookies and cream is more like I don't know but I think of Oreos Ore Oreos Oreos <laughs> I hope you understand the cookie Oreos um, like yeah i think of oreos when i think of cookies and cream so um i i thought with these cookies it, it didn't really match with the cookies and cream so i went like with and i i, I didn't fi find any cream uh thingy uh as a cut file so and i found the milk so i was like okay let's go with milk and cookies and i think that's all right too and oh yeah we're almost at the end i like i filmed but I, I wanted to film but the, the phone died or something I don't know and I missed a part so I'm just showing you quickly what I used and that's it guys <laughs> thank you so much for watching and see you very very soon bye bye <laughs>